Best known for its line of Beechcraft propellers and jet airplanes, Beech Aircraft Corporation is one of several American manufacturers of small aircraft. Founded in 1932, Beech Aircraft Company was established by Walter and Olive Beach in Wichita. Beechcraft has since become a living legend in the United States. Beechcraft was one of the big three in general aviation in the mid to late 20th century. The firm was bought by Raytheon Company in 1980 until it was purchased by Textron Aviation in 2013. Well, Beechcraft has produced numerous models throughout the years, each with multiple modifications, but the Beechcraft 1900 is one of the best models which the company introduced. This 19-seat aircraft was designed to carry passengers in all weather conditions from airports with relatively short runways. It is capable of flying in excess of 600 miles, although few operators use its full fuel range. In terms of the number of aircraft built and its continued use by many passenger airlines and other users, it is one of the most popular 19 passenger airliners in history. So in today's video, we will look at everything you need to know about the Beechcraft 1900 and find out why the Beechcraft 1900 is irreplaceable. Before we get on to that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. If you are into aviation, have a look at our new aviation compilation channel, Aviation Central. It is the first link in the description. We would highly appreciate it. So without a further ado, let's begin the video. The 1900 is Beechcraft's third regional airliner. The Beechcraft Model 18 was a 6 to 11 passenger utility aircraft produced from 1937 to 1970, used by the military, airlines, charter operations, corporations for executive transport, and freight carriers. The 15 passenger Beechcraft Model 99 airliner was designed to replace the Beech 18 and was produced between 1966 and 1975 and from 1982 to 1986. It was also commercially successful and remains in everyday use with freight airlines such as Ameriflight. The Beechcraft 1900's design lineage began in 1949 with the Beechcraft Model 50 Twin Bonanza, a five-passenger, reciprocating engine utility aircraft designed for the U.S. Army. A larger passenger cabin was added to the Twin Bonanza's airframe and called the Model 65 Queen Air. This aircraft was, in turn, further modified by adding turboprop engines and cabin pressurization and named the Model 90 King Air. A stretched version of the King Air was later developed and designated the Model 200 Super King Air. Beechcraft developed the Beechcraft 1900 directly from the Beechcraft Super King Air to provide a pressurized commuter liner to compete with the Swear Engine Metro and the British Aerospace Jetstream. The 1900 first flew on September 3rd, 1982, with Federal Aviation Administration FAA. certification awarded on November 22, 1983, under Special Federal Aviation Regulation SFAR, 41C Airworthiness Standards. 1900 entered service in February 1984, with the first Exacliner corporate version delivered in 1985. A total of 695 Beechcraft 1900 aircraft were built making the airliner the best-selling 19-passenger airliner in history. With market trends favoring larger 50 to 90-seat regional jets, Raytheon ended production of the Beechcraft 1900 in October 2002. The Beechcraft 1900 is a mid-sized twin turboprop, mid-range aircraft, configured as a low-wing T-tail design. Since the 1900 is derived from the King Air, all 1900s share specific characteristics with that aircraft. Cockpit controls and operations are similar to those of the King Air. The D model has three flap positions, zero, takeoff and land, compared to four on the C model. The wing and airframe structure has been reinforced to handle the airplane's increased takeoff and zero fuel weights. Just ahead of each wing route is a horizontal surface that generates a vortex to hold airflow together through the wing fuselage intersection. Additional vortex generators are located at the leading edge of the outboard flaps. Its purpose is to reduce the stall speed. Outboard fuel vents have been moved to accommodate the winglets. While federal aviation regulations require two pilots for airline operations, 1900 is designed and certificated for single pilot operation in corporate or cargo settings 
as is the King Air. Beechcraft produced numerous versions of its 1900 family to suit various operational criteria. The original version was known simply as 1900 and seated 19 passengers in a one-to-one -one configuration. Passengers could board at both the front and rear of the aircraft. Beechcraft produced just three examples of this variant. Beechcraft produced so few original 1900s because the company realized that the aircraft didn't need two doors for its 19 passengers. As such, it developed a new version known as the 1900C. This variant had just one passenger door located at the front of the aircraft. Otherwise, the 1900C was largely similar to the original version. The 1900C was a strong performer commercially, selling over 250 units, including military examples. However, in 1991, Beechcraft decided to redesign aspects of this successful twin turboprop regional airliner. A key talking point was the 1900C's low ceiling, which forced taller passengers to bend down as they walked through the cabin. As such, Beechcraft opted to fit its new 1900D with a stand-up cabin, allowing taller passengers to walk normally. The BA Jetstream 31 is the only other 19-seat regional airliner to feature this higher ceiling. The 1900D, which sold an impressive 439 units, also featured winglets and more powerful engines to compensate for the taller cabin's increased drag. The Beach 1900D is powered by two Pratt & Whitney PT-6 as 67D turboprop engines, each rated at 954 kilowatts, which provide a maximum cruise speed of 283 knots and a maximum altitude of 25,000 feet. The hard cell propellers are four-bladed, composite, constant speed, and full feathering reversible pitch propellers. The blades are made from composite materials. The aircraft's fuel tanks provide a usable fuel capacity of 2,519 liters. A refueling point is located on the leading edge of each wing. Jet A is the recommended fuel. However, the engines are also approved for limited operations on other types of jet fuel or aviation-grade gasoline. Furthermore, the hydraulically retractable tricycle-type landing gear has twin-wheeled main units and a single-wheeled steerable nose unit with Goodrich wheels and tires, Goodrich hydraulically operated multi-disc brakes, and Beach oleopneumatic shock absorbers and optional Beach hydro-air anti-skid units. The main gear retracts forward, and the nose unit retracts rearward. The air-conditioned cabin is fitted with 19 single-class seats in a single-aisle layout. The 1900 provides passengers with a stand-up cabin and airline-style seating, including recline, armrests, tray tables, and underseat storage. The forward door on the port side is equipped with airstrips for operation at airports with limited facilities. An ultra-quiet active noise control system, developed by Ultra Electronics, Noise and Vibration Systems Division of the UK, to reduce the in-flight noise in the passenger cabin is optional. The active ultra-quiet system acoustically cancels propeller noise in the cabin by introducing sound waves that are of equal frequency and amplitude, but are of opposite phases to the unwanted noise. The installation also includes passive materials designed by Elliott Aviation of Moline, Illinois. The Beechcraft 1900 is a reasonably compact aircraft. Although it is longer than some 19-seat designs like the de Havilland Canada DC-6 Twin Otter, it measures 17.62 meters in length, and the wingspan is almost the same, at 17.64 meters wide. The 1900 cruised at about 285 knots of true airspeed. Ordinary trip lengths range from 100 to 600 miles, but with full fuel tanks, the aircraft is capable of flying well in excess of 1,000 nautical miles. Airlines often prefer the 1900 over jet aircraft for shorter routes due to its fuel efficiency and because trip times are not significantly longer on distances up to 480 kilometers. Moreover, the Beechcraft 1900 can operate safely on relatively short airstrips. It can take off and land on grass and rough runways. The airplane is certified to fly up to an altitude of 25,000 feet above mean sea level. The cabin is pressurized and the aircraft is equipped with emergency oxygen masks for the pilots and passengers in the event the cabin loses pressure. It is designed to operate in most weather conditions, including icing conditions, 
and it is usually equipped with weather radar to help pilots avoid severe weather. Raytheon offers the option of configuring the aircraft for the lavatory, using space otherwise available for passenger seating and cargo storage. Because most flights are less than two hours in duration, most airlines choose to configure the aircraft with additional seating and cargo space for going the lavatory. Beach engineers have revised the electroluminescent instrument, sub-panels, and overhead panels, striving for organization and simplicity. The enunciator panels have also been reworked. Standard avionics include 4-inch Collins EFIS on both pilot and copilot sides. Collins weather radar and navcom controls are on the center panel. A flight director is standard. Autopilot is optional. Yaw damp boost is also available as an option. The Beach 1900 airliner is clearly the best 19-passenger airliner in the world. Over 690 of its units are being flown worldwide, and its primary users include Evil Airways, Ameriflight, Great Lakes Airlines, and many more. It offers the best operating value, the best dispatch reliability, the lowest number of maintenance hours per flight hour, unsurpassed seat mile costs, and superior long-term value retention. No other aircraft in its class can carry so much, so far, so fast. Depending on numerous factors, the average price for a pre-owned Beechcraft 1900 is $1,470,200, a $735,100 loan over 120 months, including $3,062 per month in interest, equates to a $36,860 per period payment. Based on 450 annual owner-operated hours and $7 per gallon fuel cost, the Beechcraft 1900 has total variable costs of $820,800, total fixed costs of $222,092, and an annual budget of $1,042,892. This breaks down to $2,317 per hour in quality and as an investment, then you really can't go past the Beechcraft 1900 at this price. It is simply a bargain in what quality and features that you receive. The Beechcraft 1900 is just simply brilliant and is the best investment you can make for the future and in having the very best aircraft to fly. So this is why Beechcraft 1900 is irreplaceable. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Click the links to check out some of our videos. Moreover, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. We have many videos coming up. See you in the next one.